Our story begins here in the warehouse once we learned that a giant semi truck was going to come bring our loudspeakers. Now, I know most of you probably don't have loudspeakers that come via semi truck and require a forklift and multiple people to get them off of the truck, but these speakers, the Infinity IRS 5s, certainly required that. 15 hundred pounds of boxes. These, these are the woofers. Over here are the mid-range tweeter sections, the wings. This whole setup is one of the most amazing loudspeakers uh, that have ever been made and they're going to very soon occupy our sound room. In the meantime, we're cleaning out the sound room of the old system. We're going to redo the entire sound room and we'll do some stuff that's pretty interesting. So I think this will be a good adventure for you to watch. So let's start part one. So over here we've got the magna planers. These are the Maggie 3.6 R's. Behind we have the Timpani 3 base panels. Now this was an original pair of magna planer timpani base panels. I originally got the idea from Harry Pearson, HP. He wrote an article about, I, I believe it was called the, the QRS. It was a, a hybrid of this very loudspeaker, this base loudspeaker, these base panels, and an Infinity product that Arnie had designed for the uppers. And that pair, that hybrid, was the impetus for uh, Harry to start talking about building separate base systems and designing hybrids and Arnie then president of Infinity getting together with his partner Carrie Christie and designing the Infinity IRS which was the first truly big loudspeaker system at the time it was twenty thousand dollars I think it went up to about seventy thousand that's the speaker that's going in this room and so what I wanted to show you was the room before we tear it apart. See over here? This is our equipment rack. I've got a nice rack. It's isolated. We've got power bases below everything. There's a P10, a PWD, a PWT, um, and, and a rack full of CDs. But I, I actually don't have room to, to put the turntable, which is in sound room number two, and I want to be able to do that. Plus, Honestly, I don't like all of this stuff hanging out in the room. The, the tangle of cables and everything behind here is just, it's hard. We do a lot of A-B testing. If you, if you see, there's a, there's a, a prototype uh, of something that I can't talk about sitting on top of the, the DAC here. So we do a lot of testing here and we do a lot of A, B, in and out. So I need some simple, easy way to take all of this off the floor, clean this place up, and I'll show you what I'm going to do. So we're going to pull this door out of here. We're going to take uh, this whole thing, bring it back, and build a little soundproof house here so where we can put a, a shelf system of all power bases plugged into power plants, each of the power plants into a, its own dedicated line and make a really cool setup here. I can have my turntable, I can have the, the CD transport, you know, all the stuff that I want and just enough area where I can kind of squeeze back here, change cables, do my A-B testing, come back out here, have a seat and start to listen again and go back and that gets all of this stuff off the floor. Then. Remember the CD rack and, the, and, and my collection of albums? Well, what we're going to do is have somebody come in here and between the studs of this wall, these are all double walls, they're about that thick. Um, so I've got plenty of room. Between the studs, we're going to build shelving system that you can put your CDs on, you can put your LPs on, uh, and get all this clutter off the floor. So we've got our three listening chairs, We've got a cool setup here to get all of our media, and here we can work with the equipment, put new stuff in and out, and that's kind of cool. So lastly, I wanted to kind of take you on a little bit of a tour of what people normally don't see when they come into our sound room. This is all the electronics, cables, RPG diffusers. 
these are the RPGs, these are the DAADs, and that's the Martin Logan sub right behind the camera is another one. This is the perfect wave amplifier that we've been writing about. This is what we're currently listening to. And over here, um, this guy is a classic 250. The classic 250 is powering the timpani three base panels. Plenty of power back here. All of this is going away. So um, one of the things we're going to do to really put this back together in a way that is honoring the new loudspeakers, the IRS, is I'm going to remove all of these white DAAD diffusers, mark where they are sitting, mark which direction, because one side is more absorptive than the other, which is more diffractive. So I want to make sure I have exactly where they're located. I'm going to write it out on kind of a map and then take them out of the room, pull all of this stuff out this afternoon. And this is going to be kind of hard. I'm going to take the magnet planers down and pack them up, a uh, fellow bought them, and I'm jealous. Um, I absolutely adore these loudspeakers. I think they are some of the best. Uh, no, I know they are the best we've ever had in the sound room. I can hear into the music in a way I don't think I've ever heard in this sound room, and so many products from PS Audio have been calved, birthed with these loudspeakers giving us insight into how things sound through the equipment. So I am going to miss this setup. I got to do this myself. I, I really do. Sorry, I don't mean to sound like a, a wet something, but. Oh, we're going to be real careful with these little rascals. What I, the first thing I'm going to do is <clears throat> remove these stands. These stands, these are called my stands, and these were really, really cool. These products, in fact, I think I'm going to be better off putting this on its side. Yeah, that's going to be better. Um, I think these stands made a heck of a difference. It, they really did. They, um, because this is such a, a flimsy kind of frame, the, the stands here really helped strengthen, gave it some rigidity, and, and really improved the base. So, okay, um, I'm going to take these apart. We are, oh boy, here we go. I, I guess one other thing I wanted to say, I really had to force myself to come in today on a Sunday because tomorrow I leave for Brazil. Uh, after, shortly after that, I got to go to Munich um, for the high end show. And, you know, I could have put all of this off. It's, it's a little bit gut wrenching to me to, uh, to do any of this. But I thought, McGowan, you just got to get it done because until I get it done, I won't have the fun of putting the IRSs in here, of which I am really excited about. So, bye Maggie's.